Welcome to the New Song Cafe at worshiptogether.com. Today we're here with Peter Furler, formerly of the Newsboys, listening to his new song, Greater Is He. So sit back and enjoy this New Song Cafe. Peter, good to have you, man. Thanks, Jimmy. Good to be here. Appreciate it. Man, we're listening to some, uh, some new songs from your new solo record. Um, but it's been a while since we've talked, and yeah. so, uh, and I know it's been a while since you've had some new music out, so kind of bring us up to speed on what's been happening with you the last couple of years. Um, well, you know, I've, I've just uh, having the greatest time of my life. You know, uh, the last few years uh, I've wrapped up my season with the Newsboys, and uh, that took a while, the transition, you know, helping the lads make that move, uh, having Mike come out on the road, and and uh, you know, and watch the show, kind of catch the vision, and then we switched, and and then me being behind the scenes for a season, and uh, it was kind of like handing over a church in a way. It was, yeah. it was something very important to me, and uh, I wanted to see it do well. And uh, you know, it's like a tree that you planted as a kid, right. and so you wanted to see it continue to grow. And uh, so yeah, that was that. That took a while, and uh, then it got to a point where uh, wasn't sure what I was doing with my life, which I kind of really enjoyed. You know, to some people that's a horror, but for me it was really. Uh, you know, my life had been so planned out, uh, which it had to be um, with the newsboys, uh, you know, knowing where you were going to be a year from now, but where, uh, all of a sudden to go from that to uh, not knowing what you're doing uh, was really re a new adventure. And so, uh, yeah, that's been the process in the last couple of years. Wow. Well, the song we're listening to today is uh, Greater Is He. And um, this is really cool because it's taken right from the scripture. A lot of the lyrics and stuff are right from scripture, First yeah. John 4. Yeah. And um, so talk a little bit about the song, the writing of it. I know you wrote yeah. this with Seth Mosley. Yep. And, and where the song came from, what was the inspiration? It was really just um, through my life as a songwriter, songs like Not Ashamed or He Reigns, certain things that have uh, strong scriptural content to them, sometimes just taking from scripture because as a power, I think that's, uh, that's how we teach the next generation, mm -hmm. you know, the word. It's another way to do it. And uh, it's the psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. And so uh, I just wanted to continue that, to just put, find, it helps me. If people can remember a song like A Breakfast, then it would be even more powerful if they can remember the lyrics and kids can be singing along or, or folks can be hearing the power of the word and, and, and showing that to the next generation. Wow, man. Well, we'd love to hear it. Play it for us. Yeah, great. <laughs> Surrounded by forces too strong for us Pressed hard on every side We don't look to the left or the right for help It comes from inside And we don't fear the flame No, we won't fear our enemies We don't fear what's to come the battle's already been won The greater is he that is in us Than he that is in the world The greater is he that is in us Than he that is in the world and Christ in us, the hope of glory And uh, this song is really unique in that the bridge in it is, is spoken word scripture. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit about that. And um, when you're writing songs, of course, you're, you're thinking about parts and movements, and you're also thinking about playing them live and leading yeah. these songs in front of a, of a congregation. Um, talk about a little bit about just the, that writing and, and that decision in the bridge there to kind of just do the spoken. It's another thing I've thought about for, for many years. Again, it's really powerful when you see a worship leader get up and just quote from the word, from memory, just memorizing certain sections of scripture, because that's where it's a lot of times we can talk about what we think of that scripture or our take on it. 
but there's nothing more powerful than the word. And I find myself as a performer and as a worship leader, uh, you know, in concert, uh, that's the greatest thing. When you can just have certain, there's been certain scriptures that have impacted my life and, uh, and I've been able just to quote them. And it takes a bit to memorize them. You just have to do it a word at a time. And, uh, but it's really, you keep them for life. And uh, it's, it's nothing more powerful than going beyond our opinions and just speaking the word. And this song has that opportunity for, for a worship leader just in the middle of the set, just to quote something from Scripture while you're kind of vamping mm -hmm. on the bridge. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it seems to be real easy to play. Just kind of yeah. walk us through uh, the chords you're playing. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the verse is just A, D, and then E. And uh, the chorus is just A, D, and that's an F sharp minor, and then an E. And then the bridge just vamps on the A right. and the D, and that's it. Right. Yeah, really accessible. It is, and that's how it was meant to be, you know, just something that uh, anybody could pick up, and it's just another tool. You know, I love it when you find that song that you can connect to and, and you're able to, to lead others uh, in singing it. Yeah. Well, man, it's been great to catch up with you. Love the new song. Thanks. Thanks for coming by. Thanks. Thanks for having me. <laughs>